language barriers. There's a lot of international students that aren't able to speak much English and they do struggle in tutorials understanding what they're trying to say. I mean, I think language is the biggest thing. There's just so many international students who don't feel comfortable speaking in English. Um, people might also be shy or um, they don't know anyone in class, so that adds to it. Some of the students in our uni are from international students, so they find it very shy to talk out loud in a tutorial environment because the English they think is not as good enough as some other students. Um, mostly um, lack of confidence or maybe some people are international students they don't speak English as their first language so they're a bit less motivated to speak or maybe it's because the way they are the cultural thing like you don't kind of discuss with people you just sit down and observe what other people are saying. First of all, I would say is language barrier, like for international students, which like I'm an international student and um, sometimes you feel that if there's other people who are, for whom English is the first language, you tend to quiet, you get, get quiet or feel that, okay, I might not be able to project my thoughts in the same way they would. So that is one barrier. I think you go and need to speak to them. I mean, some people have it's not that you can force people to talk. Some people's um, English skills aren't quite up to um, up to scratch with everybody else's. They might be from overseas or for whatever reason. Um, yeah, it's it's difficult, um, especially in my accounting degree as well. We have a lot of students from from China and, and things like that, um, and it's hard to um, it is hard to make them participate. Um, when they're not just worried about what other people think, but they're worried about how the, they're worried about what to say and how to say it um, properly. So there's that additional factor which prevents them from wanting to speak up, um, and that is a difficulty. How? Yeah, I mean, on the one hand, you, you might want to put the um, overseas students with local students to try and maybe get them used to to native English speakers and, and things like that. But in the same time, there might be benefits if you put them in a group together. Perhaps they can speak um, Mandarin or whatever together, but maybe that's not why they came to study in Australia, to, to keep studying um, and, and learning in Mandarin. Um, that's a hard question. It's because in accounting, most of them are from a Chinese background, so they don't feel comfortable speaking. Perhaps they know what they're talking about but they don't have the English skills to, um, to say what they want to say. So I find that we're doing a lot of presentations in our accounting subjects, which I think should be made in all subjects, because at the end of the day, uh, we're probably going to be managers, aiming to be managers in the future. And we need to present and explain to our subordinates the instructions so they can do their job properly. And that's why I think presentation skills are so important. And I find that um, by doing all these presentations, my presentation skills has also improved a lot, you know, because it takes a lot of courage for them to speak up. You know, be, um, and also public speaking is a big fear among a lot of people. They need to, like, you know, like in Macquarie, they have a lot of um, overseas students, right? So I think they need to be aware of this. Like um, for me, I am an OSC student. So when the first year, my first year is really tough because I actually speak too fast <laughs> and I can't even like catch them. So I did pretty bad in my first year, but I'm getting better now. So that's fine for me. So especially for the first year lecturer, they need to know the standards of the OSC students. They're not familiar with the accent and stuff. So. Yeah, they need to speak, speak a bit slower. <laughs>